Okay, so this is a quick little demo to explain objects. So previously we've been doing functions and we, we know that we write functions so that we can reuse um, the, the functions that we created to make our code more efficient so we're not duplicating and we know that we can call our functions at any point. Uh, what shapes allow you, uh, what um, objects allow you to do is to create a complete data structure or cl complete object which allows you to be uh, then be reused. So for example, if we were going to go back to our turtle and what we were doing before, we could create a object called shape. And when we create a, shop, uh, a shape, we need to um, initiate it initially. So there's an initiate method that has two underscores there. And what this does is when we uh, insta um, instantiate the uh, new object or we, we create a new instance of the new object, it will initially call this first method. Okay, so we're going to define the parameters which we want to pass to it. So width, length, color, and how many signs it will have. And then we're going to define the properties for this object. So self, so it's referring to itself. Length equals length. Okay, so this is the property and this is the parameter that's being passed. So length is length, self.width is width, self.color is color, and self.sides, uh, sorry, sides, that says sides as well, equals sides. Okay, so initially this isn't going to do anything, but what we can do is to create a new instance of the object. So square is a shape, it has the length of 20, it has the height uh, of 20, it has a color of blue, and you can see this pop-up comes up which tells me what uh, I need to define, and I need to define how many sides it has, which is four. Okay, so this is a new instance of the object. Again, let's do another one. Rectangle is a shape. It has 200, it has a height of 50, it's going to be red, and it also has four sides. We could have a triangle, and a triangle is also a shape. It has 200 and 200, we're going to make this one green, and it only has three sides. Okay, so we can then print off the properties. Okay, so reference the properties. So if I want to know if my new object of triangle, how many sides that's going to have, I could print triangle uh, sides. And when I run my code, uh, my code, it would print off three. Okay, so we now have these properties which we can refer to. So the next step when you're creating objects is to create methods. So we're calling the methods not functions because they're a part of an object. So this is a method here that gets called as soon as we create a new object, but we can also have uh, methods which we can call whenever we want to. So I'm going to create a new method. It, we put self there because we want it to make sure that it can reference all of these uh, properties. We want to pass them to it. Okay, I'm going to import turtle. I'm going to use a oops, new method. I'm going to create a new variable which will allow me to get how many, what the interior angle is. And I'm going to define the color. So you can see here I'm referencing my, my own properties. Okay, and then for i in range self dot sides t dot forward self dot length t dot right angle. So obviously this won't work with my rectangle, it'll only work with my square and triangle, but you'll get the point. Okay, so now I can call my methods. So if I did square dot draw, that would call my, my method here. Okay, if I did triangle dot draw, it would call the method also. Okay, okay. so I'll run my code. 
do it for you. Okay, so it's drawn my square and it's drawn my and it's also drawn my, my um, triangle. So here you can see how we've created uh, a, an object called shape and then we've created new instances of the object with the defined properties. Then we've called out our properties so you can see how you can use those properties. And then we've created our own method which can apply to each of our objects. So this makes our code very reusable um, and it means that uh, our code is easily uh, manipulated uh, for different purposes.